With John Woo's Pacific Passage from Hong Kong to the United States, we discover in his films a fundamental difference in the nature of friendship between these two societies. In Hong Kong, friendship is based on Confucian hierarchy, whereas in the United States, it is based on American selfhood. In John Woo's Hong Kong films, friendship is the last chance to rescue Confucianism. However, in America, friendship is used to instill the primacy of white patriarchy, in particular through the ethnic buddy film. In Hong Kong, even a triad gangster can embody a exemplary junzu. In Hollywood, the hero is clearly on the side of good. In Hong Kong, friendship offers a bottom-to-top dynamics of the five Confucian relationships. Whereas in America, society is fine as is because it is based on a legitimate state bureaucracy. And so the kind of social crisis that existed in John Woo's Hong Kong films are just not present in his Hollywood action films. Finally, in Hong Kong, John Woo's heroic bloodshed films featured in the title as well as in the narratives, Shuang Xiong, a paired group of heroes, not in the singular. However, in Hollywood, it is the solo hero who predominates in John Woo's films. One classic example, if we look at The Killer and Face Off, they both employed what is called the Mexican standoff. This is where the protagonist and the antagonist will each wield a loaded firearm in their hands and each is pointing their gun directly at the head of the other. In The Killer, there is no barrier separating the two individuals. Well, we can think of Jenny as a barrier, but they both have a shared interest in protecting her. So she is not really a barrier, but in fact, someone that unifies these two characters. However, in Face Off, when we have the Mexican standoff between Archer as Troy and Troy as Archer, there is a standing double-sided mirror separating the two. This mirror is a physical object that reinforces the Manichaean divide between absolute good on the one side and absolute evil on the other side. They are distinct and physically separated.